Hey guys, this is VGR, and in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through how to set up the OBS widgets for Resident Evil 3 Remake with the SRT host. So, first off, we're going to download this link right here for the widgets 1.0.0.1 zip. Once that's downloaded, we're going to open that up like usual. And we're going to navigate to our SRT host folder that we made before. And we're going to drag the widgets folder into there just to keep things organized. We don't have to put them there. This just makes things easier moving forward. Now that that's in there, we can work on the OBS side of things. So let's open up OBS. And we're going to add browser source. We're just going to call it top layer for the sake of this tutorial and click OK. Click local file, browse, and then we're going to navigate to the desktop and find our SRT host folder that we made. Go to widgets, and then we're going to choose one of the sets that we want to use. In this case, we are going to use one of the mini themes, and we're going to use the minimal theme. Click HTML, click OK. Then we're going to add another browser source for bottom layer if we want to do this. It's up to you. Again, local file, browse. We're going to go back to the widgets folder. And for this case, I'm going to use the RE3R themes. And we're going to use that inventory theme right there. And click that HTML. Click OK. We're just going to put that on the other side of the screen for now. So now we have two different widgets, one for the inventory and one for the top layer. And now what we can do is start up the game and the SRT host and show you what that looks like. So game starting up. SRT starting up. Now I'm going to load up a game file so this way uh, the inventory is all loaded up in the widget and stuff like that before I switch back to OBS. Load up this save file. Then we're going to go over to OBS. And as you can see, now we have our inventory widget and we have our top half with our HP, death counts, and everything else. As you saw before, there are many different themes. You can mix and match them as you want so if you want one type of inventory or if you don't want any inventory shown on screen that's up to you and if you want a different type of top layer you can choose between all the, the layers provided to you and if you don't like any of those you can create your own if you have web developer experience uh, all it requires is a little bit of JavaScript and CSS and you can build any theme you want want. So hopefully this helps you guys get all set up and ready. Until next time, this is VDR signing out. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.